All right, hi there. I'm going to show you a demo of the Truffle Visual Studio extension that I've been working on for the last week. So what you're seeing is an instance of Visual Studio with the extension installed. And what I'm going to start by doing is creating a new project. Now I have the Node.js tools extension installed, so this gives me all these Node.js templates. For now, this is a good example, but what I hope to do in the future is create a Truffle template. And that Truffle template could either live here under the Node.js tools extension, or in the future, we, we're talking about getting a blockchain item on the left here, which would be a perfect spot for it. Um, that is some work for the future. But uh, for now, I'm just going to choose this blank Node.js console application, and I'm going to name my pro project Demo Truffle Project, and click OK. So that's going to do its work and create the project. Notice that uh, what you have here is this demo or this console Node.js application, and you have this Truffle menu item here. Now. What we can do is click on this, and it provides a few options for us, and some are grayed out. So the ones that are grayed out, compile, migrate, and run tests, they're grayed out because Truffle isn't installed. What this extension is supposed to do is cater to people that don't necessarily know how to install Truffle, or um, it aims to make it easier for everyone. And so uh, the way this plugin works is it'll have you install Truffle on a per project basis. So when I click this button, it's going to install for my project only and not globally on the machine. Now, uh, this isn't how we're we tell people to install Truffle now. However, in the future, uh, with Truffle 3.0, we'll be telling people to, to install it this way. So this fits just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this button, and you'll notice that it starts, uh, starts by installing. It first checks the, that Node.js and NPM are installed, and then it starts installing Truffle via NPM. Now, this is gonna take a while, and a lot of, it has a lot of output. I don't control this output, so for instance, that memory leak warning is just something coming from NPM, but it's not anything that we have to worry about. While we're doing that, I wanna show you the About box. When you click on About Truffle here, uh, it goes and opens up our website at truffleframework.com. And you can see it here. So this gives people more information. You can click here to read the documentation. You have all the documentation available to you. It looks very wide on this wide screen. And uh, this documentation is always available while using Truffle in Visual Studio. So I'm gonna go back to our Truffle install. You'll notice that the install is still going in the output window in the bottom there. Uh, it is compiling certain things in order to provide all the features to you. So it is finished installed, it checks the installation, and then uh, it completes successfully. So now what we have available is, uh, we have another option, a, a few more options actually. The first one is initialize project. Now, we have a basic console application, but it's not a Truffle project. It doesn't have a Truffle config, it doesn't have tests, migrations, or any contracts. So, excuse me. So what we're going to do is run the initialize project uh, menu item, and you'll see that it has created those directories for us, as well as a Truffle config. And from there, we can use the other options available to us. Now, the one that I want to focus on first is uh, start test RPC. The test RPC comes by default with Truffle when installed the way that we installed it. So what we can do is to go ahead and uh, run it on our own. And this, you'll notice that it runs the test RPC in a separate output window. This one's test RPC. The output we had before is down here for Truffle. And now that we have the test RPC running, we can use some of the other options available. The first one is compile. Now this runs Truffle compile for you, finds all the contracts in the directory. And since we initialized our project, it uh, had given us a few contracts for the default, for the default project. And once it's finished, it creates this build directory. And you can see that 
we have contract output here, contract artifacts here that we can use within our, projects la our project later. From here, we can choose to migrate. Now, this migration is going to run the migrations in the migrations directory and effectively deploy our application. When, in this case, we are deploying to the test RPC and the test RPC only, by default, Truffle is configured to look at localhost 8545 for an open Ethereum client, and right now the test RPC is running there. Uh, in the, however, uh, we can configure Truffle to point somewhere else. But for now, we're just going to use that. So we run Truffle Migrate, and it's going to go ahead and migrate now. Got a little blinky there. The reason it's a little blinky is because we have two things going on at the same time. First, we have the output going output for the migration happening here, but that migration actually produces test RPC output as well in that it creates transactions that get um, displayed on the console. So I need to figure out how to make one more important than the other, but uh, you can ignore that blinkiness uh, for now. However, the migration ran successfully, and we could go ahead and run our tests the same way. Go ahead and click Run Tests. It starts by running them. Now the tests that we have available to us are over here. We have some JavaScript tests in the metacoin.js file, and then we have some Solidity tests, which are a feature of Treble 3.0 in the test metacoin.sol file. Now it started out by compiling. That's because we have some tests within the test metacoin.sol file. And so it has to compile uh, not only that test file, but anything that that file relies on, which includes convertlib and metacoin. And you'll see what happened is it ran the Solidity tests here, and then it ran the JavaScript tests here, and uh, everything worked perfectly. And we can go ahead and look at the test RPC. To see more, even more transactions and, uh, and other requests that were made. Now, uh, if we want to, we can always stop the test RPC, and you'll see that it stopped here, and then we can start it again. Uh, every time you start and stop the test RPC, a, a new environment is created for you, so all that blockchain that we had before uh, no longer exists. So we can do... We can go ahead and migrate again, and it's going to deploy those contracts at a completely different spot. So from here, you can go ahead and work as though you are using Truffle from the command line. You can edit your contracts in the Solidity file, recompile, deploy to the test network, and run your tests. Now, some things that would be great for the future, as I mentioned a Truffle project template would be amazing. Um, looking at our migrations, migrations are effectively deploying your contracts to the network um, in a way that you've scripted yourself. And when this is the, the current version of this extension allows you to do that on a test network or really any network running on localhost 8545, but uh, in Truffle, you can configure multiple different networks and deploy to those instead. So uh, it'd be nice if this window here had options to select which network you wanted to deploy to based on your configuration. Additionally, it would be nice if you were to highlight, or excuse me, right click on a test file and in this context menu that comes up here, be able to select test only this file, because sometimes you only want to run a single file instead of running all of your tests, especially when your tests uh, become uh, large or, or you have uh, many different test files. So uh, lots of different things we can do to this Visual Studio extension to make it better. I encourage everyone to get involved. This uh, The code is available at um, github.com github.com slash truffle suite and, and you'll see truffle v6. This is the uh, Visual Studio extension package. 
and I encourage everyone to uh, contribute and make this project better. Uh, appreciate your time. Thank you.